Hey guys, now one of my subscribers has given me a challenge to make the fall. Now apparently the fall is the world's hottest curry that they sell in a restaurant. Now legend has it that it originated in Birmingham in England amongst the Indian community. I'm always up for a nice hot curry. This one is packed full of chilies. I'm going to make it. We'll give it a taste test at the end just to find out how hot this curry really is. Anyway, I can't wait to make it. Let's start making it. This is Greg's Kitchen. Here's all the ingredients. I'll be saying them along the way. And I'll leave a link to the recipe that I got this recipe from down below. Anyway, let's start making it. Okay, well to start off with, we need some ghee or oil. Now I don't have either, instead of course I'm going to be using my favourite food in the world, butter. So I'll start that melting away here and I've already cut up all my ingredients. This is two breasts of chicken, actually this is a breast, my butcher sells big thighs. So it's either breasts or thighs, I'm not fussy, I'll take anything at my age. We'll throw that in and we'll start that cooking. And we just need to cook this chicken until it's fully cooked. And while that chicken's browning off, we need to get our spices all prepared. So let's do that now. So grab yourself a bowl into which we'll grab our teaspoon. We'll be using teaspoons today. Uh, that doesn't fit. Oh well. So we'll use one teaspoon of, this is ground cumin or cumin. Depends if you're cumin or cumin. Now you need one teaspoon of ground coriander, which I didn't have, but I did have some fresh coriander growing in my little pots out the side, so I'm adding one teaspoon of ground coriander. Let's just pretend it is, okay? Now even though we're using heaps of chilies, we still need to add some chili powder. This is that super hot stuff, so we need to add three teaspoons of this super hot chili powder. Two, three. I told you it was going to be hot. Oh, and that's just gone right up my nose. Oh. <coughs> okay, so next I've got fenugreek. This is uh, dried fenugreek. Now we just require one teaspoon of this dried fenugreek. If I can actually get it out of the packet. Uh. Ah, right. And next I have some garam masala. I'll also be using one teaspoon's worth of that. Now we need to make a paste out of this, so I'll just add a little bit of water into that and we'll create a paste. Mm -mm. That looks good, doesn't it? Right, let's go and check the chicken. All right, so that chicken looks nicely cooked. So now once that's done, we'll just transfer it into a bowl and we'll just put this aside for now. Now we just get the remainder of the ghee oil, or in this case, butter, and we'll melt that, into which we'll add one whole onion, which I've cut up. I've got eight cloves of garlic, which I've also cut up. And this is ginger. I just had a nice big chunk of it. There's about a couple of tablespoons worth of ginger there. And I'll add that in as well. And now we just need to fry this all together until it's nice and golden brown. All right, well I think that looks really nice. So now, we grab our paste that we made before and we add this to the mix. We'll mix it all together and we just need to cook this for about 10 minutes. I might turn the heat down and we'll let those flavors all infuse. Oh my goodness, <laughs> my nose is running already and I still haven't even added the real chilies yet. <laughs> Alrighty, well that's been about the 10 minute mark. So next what we need to do is add one tablespoon of tomato sauce, ketchup, one tablespoon of tomato puree, and I've got one tin of diced tomatoes here, that's 400 grams, and we'll throw that in as well. Next, we add our chilies. I've got 12 chilies here. We'll throw those all in, and we'll just let this simmer for about another 10 minutes. All right, so that's been cooking for a good 10 minutes. So now we just grab our chicken. Oh, look at that butter that's still in there. Mm -mm. And we'll add that back to it. 
So we'll give that a good mix through. So now what I'm going to do is turn the heat right down on that and I'm going to put my lid on the top. And I'm just gonna let that sit there and simmer on the stove, stirring it occasionally, making sure it's not sticking for about one hour. Alternatively, you can stick it in a slow cooker and let it uh, do its thing in there for you know an hour or two hours, or you can stick it in the oven at 400 Fahrenheit jingles, which is about, what, 180-ish Celsius um, for another hour in a crock pot. So your choice. I'm using the stove because it's already there, so I may as well. We'll come back in an hour's time, we'll plan it up and give it the old taste test. Can't wait. Tell you what, my bowel is already screaming in anticipation. <laughs> All right, well, the hour's up. Let's take a look at it. Oh, wow. Oh, yum. That looks so delicious. Mmm. Of course, you could keep cooking that, <laughs> that's hard to say, <laughs> for another like half an hour or another hour, but listen, I'm starving and I can't wait to try it, so let's plate some up. Of course, I'm going to be eating mine with rice tonight. All right, so there's that pile. How good does it look? Oh my God. All right, guys, well, there's that pile, the world's hottest production food, not production food, restaurant food, apparently. It smells so good. And seriously, I can't wait to try it. I'll try and get a piece without some chilli because there's going to be way too much chilli in there as it is. Well, let's try it. Mmm. Oh wow. Mmm. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. But it's missing salt. They didn't tell me to add salt in the recipe, so I didn't. But it does need some, so if you do make it, add some salt. Okay, the heat's starting to kick in now. Here it comes. So actually, a nice heat. It's, it's not too hot, well for me, but I'm pretty sure that if you're not used to chilies, then <laughs> you'll probably burn your ring off. Oh, here comes the heat. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> yes. Yes, I love that. Oh. Oh yeah, oh. I mean, it's hot, but I mean, I've had much hotter before. That is warm though. If I were to make it, just for the stock standard, I'd probably reduce the chilies by maybe half, you know. <laughs> if you're a seasoned veteran, I think you'll love this chili. Oh boy, it just keeps getting hotter and hotter every second. <laughs> it is warm, but it's nothing that this Aussie Boy, can't take. Anyway, if you do give it a go, I'd love to know how yours turns out. Remember, I've left everything down below of what I used in the recipe, and I've added the extra things that I think it needs, like salt. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoy your chili as much as I'm gonna be enjoying mine for the next few days, and the next few mornings afterwards. <laughs> Thanks so much to all my Patreon subscribers who donate every month, and the people who donate to my fan funding, I really do appreciate it, it keeps the channel going. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time right here on Greg's Kitchen. Ooh, yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen. With a ball car, and nearly burnt my ring off. But it didn't, and I really love the flavors. You won't lose.